Hello everybody, Russian Batman, back with another video. Um, apologies if I am a little bit quiet. This video is kind of late at night and I don't really want to wake up anyone. But um, I, I needed to film like the night before this video is releasing. So I kind of waited last minute to uh, do this video. But uh, here we go. So today's video is going to be sort of like m medieval fantasy avengers i had this idea yeah and i know other people have done this idea it's not original um but i saw i think i saw one post on instagram that really inspired this like i said i never remember what any of these posts are uh but they turned the hulk into like a kind of they use the orc piece from the most recent cmf to make up interesting hulk and that will heavily inspired the hulk i made in this video um, but I also wanted to expand upon that, make some other ones. I did want to make Iron Man and Captain America. I didn't get around to those. Uh, I do want to do those. I do want to do a continuation, but I started off with just these figures. So first of all, first figure, you know, I talked about Hulk. Let me just, um, show off my Bruce Banner I made. So this will make more sense when I show off the Hulk. Uh, but this is my Bruce Banner in my kind of head canon i guess is that um he was i think once like let's say he's, he was once like a wrathful war general but then all of a sudden got this curse where he would become an orc every time he'd get too angry and eventually became uh decided to become a monk to control his emotions and so this is what i designed is this kind of like monk look he has all these um purple kind of wrappings the reason i want to do that is because i wanted his outfit to look like it could very easily become the outfit i'll show off for the hulk and i'll make more sense when i show off the hulk but it's all these wrappings so the idea is when he becomes big these wrappings can still fit because you know there's this is covering his whole body but when he grows into the hulk it's only going to be covering his legs so it's like the same amount of material and same is true of these white wrappings as well. You'll see those also pop up on the Hulk design. So in theory, you know, he'll become the Hulk. You know, it can stretch out and fit him. And then when he goes back, he just needs to tighten his clothes. But like, it's not like magic pants or something. Kind of like how it is sort of in the MCU where it's just his pants also becomes his pants. But sometimes it gets like torn up and whatnot. You know, but this is the design I want to go with where the whole outfit kind of becomes the pants. And let me just show off the Hulk because I am really, I'm really, oh, I need to lower this uh, stand a little bit to show off this guy a little bit better. But I'm really happy with how this design turned out. So the base of this guy uses the Green Goblin um, Big Fig, but I heavily modified it. So I gave it a really big lower uh, jaw, really big upper bite and really big brow. I didn't give any hair um maybe i should have but i just didn't because it looks i i don't really think of when i think of orcs i don't really think of them having hair except a little ponytail uh but i just didn't want to give that and as you can see here the design of the pants is wrapped around like i said it's meant to very it's meant to simulate kind of what this is and you could also see the bandages that are remaining from his arms and from his legs but the idea is that like i said it can wrap around his whole body but when he's big, it can only wrap around like certain parts. So I thought that would be a really cool um, little design thing. But then he's pretty simple. I did also sculpt on the muscles. I usually don't do that. I usually just paint them on. But I sculpt them and painted them on. I think it looks really good. And uh, yeah, and like as you can see, there's even like look at the loincloth there. It's supposed to be the same cloth there. So it's you know sort of meant to really go hand in hand. And these are by far my favorite video figures of the showcase. So you get to see them first. Not to say these other figures are bad or anything. Next up is I decided to make a Wolverine. I thought this would be really cool. Let me, now that he's a short king, I need to. Oh my god, he launched. I launched him. That's the first. Uh, but yeah. So for this design, uh, as you see, I gave him the mid legs to make him short. Uh, here, I, I try to make him an elf, uh, kind of make him look like a, you know, how elves usually in fantasy are very connected to nature, try to make him kind of look like a woodsman uh, in a way, because I thought that would really fit. I even gave him this big axe, because in this version, I did not give him metal claws. Um, like I said, in this version, I guess he, you know, obviously never has the procedure to get a whole metal skeleton. He still has the claws, but it's just... 
he also has uh, metal weapons just so he doesn't break his bones because you know it is you know it's, it's powerful you can still cut people with it but you know they're a little bit more fragile than metal so he still uses actual weapons give him give him boots this torso was from the um uh this lady i don't remember it's turned around and also i painted over it had some detail i did want to maybe i do want to give him like a fur cape i think would be good or you know some other fur accessory but i think this looks really cool and i'm happy with the face oh the hair piece it uses is actually from beast i really wanted to use beast hair piece for wolverine and it looks really cool and it has those ears there to you know make it because to make him look more like an elf so uh, more fantasy like so yeah last but certainly not least another one of my favorites another thing that kind of inspired this video is spider-man this is really cool so the weapon here is from the ninjago uh most recent ninjago series i guess um and i thought it would work really well as a kind of a way he could still use kind of like a web-like weapon but still not actually like you know shoot webs because if i did that that would be more magic and i feel like a lot of the characters i'm gonna make are gonna heavily rely on magic a hulk already does with his curse and so the less characters i can use magic to explain i think kind of the better um so he, i did also paint the end of it a little metal silver and um all right sorry about the interruption um, but th this design was a modified version of the Lion Knight's soldier, uh, but it had the kind of a perfect color scheme for Spider-Man. I decided to use it, and that's kind of also what ins partially inspired um, this video as well. So the design, all I did is I got rid of the lion, and I put a, a little spider symbol. also did put a little kind of spider face on his belt as well, it's hard to tell, and added some more gold throughout the design. And then for the mask, I used a com. I imagine this mask would be a combination of a hoodie, a face, like a lower face covering, and some like glasses. Uh, because I imagine back then it would be hard to kind of make a fully form fitting mask. So this would be one that would conceal his identity enough. Uh, in, in my kind of headcanon, I would imagine that this Spider Man kind of dresses up like a knight. Not because he's part of a house or he's part of kind of a kingdom, but to uh, make it seem like he is part of one. Uh, so he would make up this kind of house of the spider, which is a house that doesn't exist, but it uses it to kind of conceal his identity. However, I would imagine later on, he actually does make the house of a spider a real thing. And that kind of introduces, I don't know, like the spider society. So others can join his house and kind of be you know vigilante spider people like that. i don't know if he actually does have powers if he gets a curse if he actually you know because like, i imagine they don't have radioactive spiders but you know i can figure that out later maybe he's just a really talented guy you know who just becomes a spider themed vigilante but yeah there you go that's pretty much it for this video if y'all like the video like subscribe do all that good stuff go watch that 2011 film ringo we have a discord server if you want to join it go ahead helps us out a ton and uh yeah have a nice one ciao